When it comes to being here in Rome, what are some of the, the, the key battles that, uh, that will occur in the game that we kind of are around right now, environmental-wise? So um, you're, you're gonna fight battles across the whole of Europe, um, um, not just in the places which, where they happened in history, but um, so we, we have, we have, um, we have um, dozens and dozens of, of cities individually, individually modeled. Um, so there's a huge variety of, of both city and battle and la uh, landscape battlefields. So there's different landscapes. If you go if you go up into Germany, the landscapes are very different from if you go down into into the deserts in, in North Africa. Um, there's a huge variety of, of, of uh, terrain and, and features for you to explore. You guys have over 100 people have been working on this game. Can you talk a little about the technology improvements that have happened since the last Rome game, or even from Shogun 2, and what that brings to the gameplay? Right, so, so we, we've been working on this uh, for quite a long time now. So, um, it's one of our it's one of our bigger games. Um, um, so, we we changed more in in Rome 2 than we have in in say Shogun 2. It's more different from the previous one. Um, the, the 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 way the campaign strategy part is organized is, is very different. So, so things like te technology trees and the way you build your buildings and recruit your units, it's all new. Um, and on the battlefield, we, we, we've been, uh, over the years, we've been gradually re improving and refining both our AI and our graphics technology. So, so we're really, um, really pushing the boundaries with the graphics. You know, we get more, more guys on the screen at a higher detail with more fidelity than anybody else does. When it comes to the RTS genre, how do you feel this game is pushing things forward? I think this game, this game sits in its own place in, in the RTS genre, and it's it's firmly set in the real world. So, um, uh, you're, you're not playing against a gamey set of rules where, where you know you know that if you if you build that particular thing, it'll beat that particular thing. It's not like that. It's much much more like like the real world. So you, you know that real world tactics like outflanking and surprising and ambushing they work. Um, and you don't need to you don't need to spend ages figuring out exactly how to play the game. If you just do things which which seem sensible from a from a military point of view, they'll work in the game. I think I think that our game is unique in that respect. What is it about the Roman time period that makes it so ripe for now one but now two RTS games? We love the Roman time period. I mean, uh, when we're looking for a time period for a Total War game, there are a few things we look for. Um, we look for a technological change. You know, there has to be some kind of technology race. And um, the Roman period was was uh, was very good for that. The Romans themselves were great engineers and developed all sorts of all sorts of quite advanced technologies at the time. Um, we also look for a situation where there are lots of different factions, any of whom could have ended up winning. So you start off with a position where where there are lots of different factions to play, and, and it's not predetermined which one which one is is going to win. Um, and the third thing we look for is cool content. And, and Roman legionaries, elephants, uh, you know, um, barbarians. It's all it's all cool stuff. We've talked a lot so far about the the hand to hand ground combat. Can you talk about the naval warfare and what that adds? Um, naval warfare was something we had, we added a few a few games ago, and we've been gradually refining that. Um, the sort of age of ore, which is this is it's like the age of sail, was one of our previous previous games. This is the age of ore, so it's all about galleys and ramming and, and boarding, and uh, and that's quite that's quite interesting. It's it's different from the previous games, uh, and it is great fun to to kind of ram into the side of an enemy ship and then have your guys leap on and and, and take it over. It's it's. It's pretty good. <laughs> what are the strategies that you would uh, advise when it comes to the naval warfare? Um, main, the main thing is, is 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 that is trying to ram guys side on, right? Is not, and not let them do that to you. So there's a lot of to and fro of, of positioning uh, where, where you're trying to make sure that he doesn't get into your side. And, and once you're locked together, uh, then you're vulnerable to other ships. So you've got to you've got to make sure that you've got you've got other ships to take care of the ships that are going to attack you once you're locked locked in a in a boarding action. So so it's uh, it's. It's quite deep. This is a very deep game. What is your favorite aspect of it? It's, uh, I'm not sure I actually have a favorite aspect. It's, it's the whole thing. I think um, the thing I like about it most is that it's more than the sum of the parts. So, so there's the there's the turn-based the turn-based empire building. I love that. And then there's the real-time battles, and the two just go together so well. Uh, it does end up being more than the sum of the parts. Obviously, you, uh, I'm sure you're a fan of the Roman uh, faction, but can you walk us through some of the other factions that? Their strengths and weaknesses. We touched upon a couple, but not all of them. Um, uh, okay, uh, out of the different factions, um, uh, I like I like a lot of the Greek factions and, and the Greek successor states. So, so this is a period of time where Alexander the Great's empire collapsed 
um, some time before, and there are a number of successor states which are basically Greek in style, um, but they have a lot of interesting stuff. They have they have they have elephants, which is one of the biggest things, and I, I love the elephants on the battlefield. Um, and um, I like I like playing the barbarians as well. They're they're interesting with chariots and and, uh, and archers and so on. Um, um, I, I, I find it really hard to find a favourite because they're all good. They're all different. That's the, that's the main thing.